In this lab, we will find the density of different regularly sized objects or blocks. In order to find the volume, I am going to use the formula length times width times height. First, I will start with my white plastic block. I'm going to measure the length and record it. Then I will measure my width and record that information. Finally, I will measure the height. You may use mental math or a calculator to multiply these three numbers together and record the total volume in the chart. In order to find the mass of these blocks, we will put them on the scale, remembering to make sure it was at zero when we started, and that grams is the unit that we're measuring it in. I will record the mass for my block in the table. Once I have found the mass and volume, I can now calculate my density. I can take my mass, divide it by my volume to find the density. I'm going to repeat these steps for the rest of the blocks. Let's try that with a wax block. First, I'm going to find my length, width, and height, record these in my table, and multiply them. Then I'm going to once again find my mass on the scale and record that. Let's repeat the steps again for the transparent block. I'm going to measure my length, width, and height in centimeters. Then I'm going to multiply these numbers to find the volume. I will then use the scale to find its mass, and I will again divide my mass by my volume to find the density. Let's try that with the aluminum block. I'm going to measure my length, width, and height in centimeters, then multiply these numbers to find the volume. I will use a scale to find the mass. Then I will divide my mass by my volume to find the density. As you can see in this lab, the white block and white wax block are almost exactly the same size but have different densities. This is because density is a characteristic property, which means each material has its specific density. Any samples I have of the same plastic should have that same density or very close to it. Given a block that was painted, I would be able to figure out which of the four materials it was made out of just by comparing its density. If the density was close to 0.97 grams per cubic centimeters, I would know it is made out of the plastic. If the density of the unknown block was made of aluminum, I would know if the answer was close to 1.4 grams per cubic centimeters.